Mr. Beast is arguably one of the most successful content creators on YouTube. But back in the day, he wasn't. What's up, guys? Let me start off this video by challenging you to a game of rock, paper, scissors. There should be a picture in the top right. Just, you know, take your pick and see if you win. He had his own awkward, cringy moments just like every one of us has had on YouTube. So what is he doing differently today that allows his videos to connect with millions of viewers per video? Well, he's definitely learned to create larger spectacle-style videos that connect with a broader target audience. But a big part of doing that is how he actually films and edits his content to create that signature Mr. Beast look. Today we're gonna take a look at one of Mr. Beast's recent videos, which already has well over 60 million views. And let's see how many video editing elements we can spot in the first 15 seconds of this eight minute YouTube masterpiece. Are you ready? Roll it. I built the world's most dangerous escape room and if this contestant can finish it in less than one hour, he wins $100,000. Level one is simple, they must escape this room before these spikes impale them. I'm gonna head out. Wait, these are actually sharp. Too bad, the walls are closing in. 16 individual segments in the first 15 seconds of this video. That's more than one per second. Let's break down these segments a little bit slower and take a better look at what's actually going on. Okay, segment one, he's got the hotel hallway. The camera zooms out. He's got a voiceover element. He's got a text overlay element, sort of narrating and following along in time with every word that Mr. B says. Then of course the dramatic music underneath to create the massive amounts of tension. The transition he's using here into the next segment is a slide transition from left to right with a little bit of motion blur. My guess is that motion blur might actually be part of a transition preset within whichever video editing software they're using for their editing. Now segment two, he's got the escape room blueprint and it starts revealing itself. That's a very cool way to present it to the viewer instead of just dropping it on screen as a static image. He's got the same text overlay element here, but the font color on the word dangerous changes from white to red. That really helps elevate the tension level even more. What you may not notice here is there's actually a slow zoom in that helps create even more visual motion in the shot. A very basic editing technique used really well here. Now between this and the next segment, there's no transition, just a standard cut. Segment three is the contestant shot that introduces the hero of this adventure. There's a voiceover with the same timeline text overlay captioning it to make it easier for the viewer to follow along at this rapid pace. The next segment is the library room. There's a slow pan here to the right, which may have been done either in production with the camera or in post, meaning they might have done that during the editing phase as well. The voiceover still continues and he's got that timeline text overlay overlay, helping out the captioning so the viewer can understand exactly what's being set up in this video. Between this and the next segment, there's no transition. It's again what we call a standard cut right to the next segment. Now the next segment is this Willy Wonka style candy room. There's a slow pan to the right. The voiceover continues with the same timeline text overlay. The dramatic music keeps playing underneath all of these segments and that helps tie all of these changes together. As he moves into the next segment, you can see that's just another standard cut. Now the next segment is segment six and it's the spike room. There's a slow pan from left to right. He's got the same voiceover and the text overlay captioning. Now that has no transition into the next segment either. It's just another standard cut. Nothing too fancy here. Now in segment seven, this is the lava floor room. There's a slow pan kind of upwards, keeping that visual motion going, but a little different pan angle than we've seen so far. Still got the voiceover and still has that text overlay captioning. Now in between this and the next segment, he uses a zoom transition. A zoom transition here is he zooms into the end of the last segment and then zooms out from the beginning of the next. I've shown you all this technique lots of times in the past, including when I've shown you how to do the eyeball transition in your video edits. And now we segment into the money shot, segment eight. Notice there's a slow zoom outward this time, a little bit of a change up. And when he gets to the text overlay and says $100,000, he actually changes the text to green the color of money. That really helps to make the prize that they're competing for, the video payoff, really jump out at the viewer. Simple changes like that really help take the viewer experience to the next level. That was the entirety of the escape room breakdown and it only lasted seven seconds. He intentionally didn't show every room. That'll actually help keep the viewer watching later on as rooms that they haven't seen in the intro are introduced into the competition later. Now the transition here is another zoom transition. He zooms into the end of one one clip and then zooms out from the beginning of the next. What's really interesting to note here is none of these techniques are anything we haven't covered dozens of times here on my channel using very simple software like Filmora or Movavi. 
Now segment nine is where the competition really kicks into gear. Mr. Beast is in level one, the spike room, with the contestants and his other friends. Now the caption text overlay stops completely. The dramatic music stops as well. There's a faint audio sound effect of metal clanging in the background, very intentional. Great change up of pace. The camera also zooms out halfway through this shot to give a full room view. Most likely done in post in the edit, it almost feels like a new shot, but it's actually just one continuous shot with a zoom out edit. Now here there's no transition, just a standard cut into segment 10. Segment 10 is a cropped in shot of Mr. Beast continuing to explain the first level. Moving into segment 11, there's no transition, just another standard cut, nothing fancy. Segment 11 is back to the shot of the spike room, which is the room they'll be starting in, and also the room depicted in the thumbnail. Perfectly timed just as Mr. B says, they must escape this room before these spikes impale them. Level one is simple, they must escape this room before these spikes impale them. That really helps sell the spikes. Here again, there's no transition, just a standard cut. In segment 12, Mr. Beast is finishing up by telling the camera, the viewer, that he's going to head out. Back to no transition, another standard cut. In segment 13 is a drop back shot of Mr. Beast leaving and Chris saying, wait, these are actually sharp. But notice he brings the caption text back again to help make that point. Spikes, point. No dad jokes. Again, there's no transition here that's just a standard cut into segment 14, and this segment comes and goes fast. It's just a hard cut crop into the previous shot, but just on the word sharp, and Mr. Beast actually makes the caption text overlay of the word sharp jump forward instead of typing out the way it had previously. The choices of text animation throughout this really fast paced intro are amazing. It really keeps this thing moving. The transition here is another slide transition from right to left, much like earlier. Now in segment 15, they cuts to Mr. Beast in the control room with a button device in his hand, which he presses while saying, too bad. Segment 16 is just a standard cut into a crop of the same scene with a slow pan in while Mr. Beast finishes that sentence. Too bad, the walls are closing in. This pan looks like it might've been done in camera, not in post, but it could be a bit of both. He's also added a countdown timer overlay in the upper right. There's actually also an audible ticking sound effect to go with that timer, which helps sell the idea that this all needs to be done before the time runs out. And that's the first 15 seconds of the rapid fire editing techniques used in a Mr. Beast video. Every single one of these techniques I've taught in previous videos, and I'm gonna put links to each down in the description below. And if you wanna learn more about how to make better video content and grow your YouTube channel, click on the video that's on screen now or the ones that I've linked down below. Peace.